Hi everyone, welcome back to another cut above with Chris. Head shave time, just finished my face shave, had a great shave using a soap from a great artisan, so what more can you expect? So I'm going to be using the exact same soap, which is Sterling Arcaria, which is basically a spitting image scent of LNL Grooming Trismegistus, which I think is a later one, so technically Trismegistus smells like this, but they both mimic the scent of Le Termidermis, I think that's how you say it, which I believe is a French cologne or aftershave. But it smells superb, beautiful cologne scent. As you can see, I've just used this for my face shave, so I've just left it as is. 5.8 ounces. This was sent to me from Alex Oybe Chapel over in New York in Australia, in Australia, in America. And yeah, thanks very much, mate, for sending it over. It, it's beautiful. I really, really enjoy it. I love sterling soaps, so as you already know. Okay, the brush for today, Tony Forsyth Custom. This was made for my channel. Another cut above with Chris. And this is the Phantom Nebula colour scheme, which is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Jared Stein over in the States has just ordered his first TF custom brush. And yeah, I know he'll be happy with it because they're super beautiful. 26mm synthetic. And yeah, just it's a lovely no, it's not a real tuxedo, it's a tuxedo style knot. This one's got a lot more scrub and it's a little bit firmer on the bristles but it's still soft on the face, there's no scratch or scratch with it. Gorgeous brush. Let's get it dipped, pluck out some of the excess and then we'll load straight from the tub and then I'm going to complete the lather in a bowl today which one of the new subscribers to the channel was asking what the bowl was and does it have a handle. So I'm going to have a little bit of a run through the bowl and how it works before I do this and we'll go from there. So just dip the tips again, as you can see. I try to keep as much into the brush rather than having that overflow so I keep a pretty dry brush and then just lightly dip the tips each time until the brush is loaded up to the consistency of soap that I want that I know is going to give me a great, great lather. And I overload my brush all the time generally for face shaves and head shaves just to guarantee that awesome lather because it's not, so that's absolutely caked. Right, the bowl, Saponificio Barracino Shaving Grill. It's actually a two-piece bowl. If you actually push this handle through, it goes into two. And then what you can do is pop this, so there's the hole in the bowl, as you can see. You pop the handle through this way, and it's ideal for, for travel. It shortens the length of it. It's great for travel. And there you go, that's what it looks like that. Pop the handle back out into two pieces, drop it through the hole, pull it through so that the rubber seal holds it tight. It's a little rubber seal that just runs around underneath this, underneath the dimpled part, which holds it in there. And then you put the handle like that, which you can grasp solid with your hand. It's going nowhere, you're not dropping it. There's a good bit of weight to it. It is all solid wood construction and painted. On the inside you probably can just see all this sort of roughness is called banana leafing, the pattern itself. And then you put the dimples in here for creating the ladder. So it's a well designed, excellent bowl. I love it. It's not a massive bowl, but it holds the ladder in there well. It makes it gives me enough ladder for way more than three passes generally. So I've just what I've done is added a little bit of water just down there, as you can see. I'm gonna introduce the brush with the load of soap in here. And then we can start whipping it up. Now someone on Facebook actually mentioned they're looking to buy a bowl. They've seen all these bowls with ridges. Is there any point in getting it? Does it make a difference? I actually gave a bit of an analogy of, well, look at it from the point of view of trying to whip a meringue with either a spoon or a whisk. And uh, basically the spoon being a smooth bowl and the whisk being a rough bowl, one with ridges in it. And it would give you a bit of an idea of the difference and how easy it is to make a ladder. How better the ladder will be, the better it peaks. That was my sort of look on it anyway. But as you can see, this is growing great. It does always spill over a little bit. Always spills over on the side closest to me like that. And then all I do is just run the tip round like that. And there you go. Let's stop growing now. Dip the tips again. Do the exact same process as I do with my face ladders. 
I just keep adding water to it when it stops growing or it feels like it's thickened up enough and it won't go any further. And you just keep going. As you can see it's starting to build a nice glossy creamy ladder. You can see the peaks already coming on there. Dip the tips again. That was a good dip, that one. That was a massive dip. And you don't have to f do straight circles or anything like that, just do whatever, whatever works with this bowl because of the dimples in the middle. You can go side to side, you can go circles, you can do whatever you want with this bowl, and it'll constantly keep creating a ladder for you. But for me, it's one of the best bowls out there. If they did a slightly bigger version, I think it would be better. But then again, you don't want it too big. Right, this ladder is exactly where I love it. Look at that. Gorgeous. And I can always add a little bit more water. Just beautiful. Like whipped cream. And then let's get the lathering. I'm going to be going back to my Wunderbar today, which I haven't used for a little while. The ultimate head shaving razor, in my opinion, from what I've used. there because it's just a little bit dry and again it can take a hell of a lot of water sterling salt don't add to the slickness but you still have this amazing lather at the end of it even though it'll have a lot of water content it always seems to stay thick and creamy that is one of the best lathers I've had in my head for a while It's super, it's thick, it's creamy, it's glossy, it's got plenty of moisture content in it. Right, got my Wunderbar. The blade in here is a Kai blade on its fifth use, I think. Mm -hmm. I thought something was biting my leg there, I thought I might have had a mozzie. So screw it back down. You don't have to adjust this blade, you don't have to do anything with it, it can only go in, it's perfect fitting. And as you can see, it's a beautiful razor. It's a Torx slant. It's extremely efficient, it's extremely smooth and mild for me, personally. I don't find it an aggressive razor at all. So here we go. But one thing I do find with it is that residual slickness is hard to come by because it's so efficient that it doesn't really leave anything behind, it takes everything with it. The Kai blade on its fifth use feels extremely good, feels very smooth, feels sharp. And at the moment I'm going with the grain. Something to mention with the razor, and I always mention when I do my head shaves, there's no overhang on the sides. It's a very safe razor for around your ears, and if you face shave with it up under your nose. On that part of my head, I have to go against the grain straight away. I can't go with the grain because for some reason I cut myself with the grain, but against the grain I don't. Strange. Now I could straight pull this razor all the way down, but I find efficiency wise, 
just works better if I just slowly work my way down with short strokes, on the, with the grain at least. Same on that side, just go against the grain straight away. It is a razor built for no touch, no weight. If you put any pressure on with this razor, it will irritate your skin. There's no doubt about it. And I think it's, if you go to the Razor Rock, sorry, the Italian Barber website, I think it says something along the lines of if you can master the light touch or the soft touch or the no pressure, then you'll have one of the best razors in the world and it definitely is for me it replaced my R41 it caused me to get rid of my Timeless it's just an exceptional shaver Soap's doing incredibly well. The scent's great. The scent strength out that tub is like a five, six, and it stays around about a six, borderline, borderline a seven scent strength, which for me is great. I love a good scent strength. I can smell it in the bathroom now. It's not, I'm not sort of searching for the scent anyway. It's just there, and it smells great. Right, first pass down, I'm just going to empty the water up because it's absolutely chock as full of hair. I've got three days growth, I think, possibly four, I can't remember. Right, just wet the hair. Now there's still quite a bit of hair on there, but I'm not worried because I'm going against the green now. And this razor just blasts it off, it really does. So here we go, as you can see, look how thick and creamy and glossy that lather is. Back into the bowl, look at that. Might as well put a good coating on. Amazing brush for head lathering, well for any lathering, but for head lathering it's got a great scrub. As does the, the tuxedo knot, but this one, which is tuxedo like, just has a bit more scrub. It's a little bit firmer bristles I think. The tips are definitely not as soft, but they're still soft. It's an excellent painter, an excellent face lather, it's just an excellent brush all round the knot. The brush is great but the knot the knot's excellent as well. Here we go against the grain. There's a residual slickness. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. This razor, I will say, doesn't offer really any residual sleekness. It takes everything off, so you need to be aware of that if you buy it. That it's, you really need to have lather on your head to go against the grain if you want to use residual sleekness. Because it's pretty, it's so efficient at removing everything that it takes all the soap with it. 
pretty much left with nothing in the end. So as you can see, this, the residual slickness is great. Very, very light touch. I'm not pushing it all with this razor, I just let it rest on my head. I actually lift a little bit of pressure off it because of the weight of the head. It's not a super heavy razor, but it's got a bit of weight to it. just plowing through, it really is. Right, there's a tiny little bit here and there. What I'll do is I'll just put a bit of moisture on the head and then I'll reload or relather my whole head again. Just because I love this soap, it smells incredible, it's slick, it's creamy. I just love sterling soaps, they're excellent. I haven't used one for a while because I've got mentholated and it's pretty cold over here, so it's nice to have one in the den now that I can use whenever I want. Look at that, look at the gloss on it. It's just beautiful. It feels great as you're painting it on. Oh, it smells amazing. Don't need a thick layer because it's the final pass, there's not much left. I've went against the grain pretty much everywhere, it's just picking up little parts that I've missed. And I just go over everything again because it's always some stragglers. It 
just to compare this with the shave that I did recently, head shave with the, the Gillette Fat Boy. There's just no comparison. This shit's all over it. But then again, I've got to try and find the angle with the Fat Boy. It feels totally different to anything else that I've used. No pressure, just a light touch, the slickness of the soap's great. And I do hear people say about this being a very aggressive razor, but I don't get it at all. I find it efficient, very efficient, but not aggressive. I don't feel scared to use it, I don't feel like I'm going to cut myself with it. I have cut myself off a few times, but it was basically in the beginning when I was getting used to the angle, how to hold it and how to use it. Most important thing with this razor, without a doubt, is pressure. No pressure. That's the most important part of it, of using it. Yeah, what a difference this razor is compared to the fat boy or anything else that I've used in my head if I'm honest. Outstanding. That, this is BBS as you live again and it's why I have a Wunderbar in my day. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Pair of shapes. Right, there's Medicaid. Just check to see, I could, I've got a little bit of sting over here somewhere, I don't know. 
I've got no cuts or anything. I think there's a little bit of rotation, but I haven't used a razor for a while, so. so. No, no, it feels great. Yeah. There's nothing left on there at the top. I had loads left over after the fat boy shave, it was still good, it was still BBS, but if I pulled my skin a little bit harder, I could feel all the extra hair that had just missed. This leaves nothing for this reason. Right, while that's drying in, I'm just going to rinse my brush out, which is caked full of lather still. Absolutely caked. Like I say, I always overload my brush. Oh, when you put the hot water on the brush, it really brings the scent out on the soap. It's a lot stronger with the hot water, it definitely is. There's a lot to be said for blooming with hot water or using hot water if you want a good scent, good scent strength. to get that all out in one hit that time but I spent a little bit longer with it. So the soap, Sterling Arcaria, superb, absolutely superb, outstanding. Scent is amazing, slickness is amazing, 5.8 ounces for a great price. I got this sent to me as a gift but even if you buy it, it's a great price soap. It'll last you a long, long time. And it's just, performance-wise, as good as anything. It really is. You forget how good it is until you use it again. And the unmentholated are as good as the mentholated. They'll lather probably similar. I thought the unmentholated would lather better, but it doesn't. They both lather really, really well. Razor Rock, Wunderbar. You get these from Italian Barber. They pop up every now and then and buy sale trades. Amazing razor. Efficient, smooth, comfortable for me, personally. I don't find it aggressive at all. It just works, and it's great. I mean, that's, I mean, that's an amazing shave, it really is. There's no, there's nothing there. It's just BBS. It's almost beyond BBS. The brush, custom TF shaving brush for the channel. Another cut above with Chris. This is one of only two in the whole world with that on it. It was part of my 500 giveaway. 500 subscriber giveaway and believe it or not someone actually ordered one of these brushes in the exact same colour scheme and style when they've seen mine they wanted the exact same brush handle and I think he just sent the handle he's going to put his own knot on it I don't know who it is but it'll be interesting if it pops up on Facebook or anywhere but yeah beautiful beautiful brush and the, the handle it's outstanding you can actually sort of pick it up a bit on the camera how good it is Phantom Nebula Boom. Saponificio Varicino Shaving Grill. Amazing bowl. Whipped up, but you've seen the lather. The lather was incredible. There is wood chisel, medicated, which is now dried in. I'm going to finish off with a splash all over my head and face of Lucky Tiger Face Tonic. After shave. It's a head tonic as well for me. Good splash of that. And that is that. Now, if you guys don't watch my face shaves and you only watch the head shaves, please check out Spence Shaves. He's literally just done his first two videos. The first one was all of his equipment, hardware. His latest video, which came out this morning, it may have been late last night, but I think it was this morning, is his very first ever shave on, on video on YouTube. So check him out. Really nice kid, bloke, kid. It just makes us all feel really fucking old because he's got the cool haircut and all that shit. So, yeah. Just wait till you get kids and go bald, mate. Other than that, check him out, top bloke. Also from Australia, he's over from the, the Gold Coast. I think it's the Gold Coast, yeah, pretty sure it's the Gold Coast. Where all the theme parks are in Australia, all the good stuff. And you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And thank you very much again, Alex, for sending these soaps over. Cheers.